Hey guys, it's Carly and this vlog is gonna be a little interesting. So as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about Metallica. Um, I am very into metal bands. Um, that's kind of like my whole MO. Um, I've been listening to metal since I was in seventh grade um, when I heard Under Oath on Fuse TV, which I don't even know if that's around anymore, but I saw a music video for The Sun Still Sleeps and I was like, this is amazing. What is this? Um, Cause up until then I had been listening to like more like pop punk type stuff, like Fall Out Boy and like Taking Back Sunday and Starting Line and things like that. Um, but when I heard The Sun Still Sleeps, I was like, y'all need to investigate this. So um, that was my introduction to metal. Um, but it's interesting because when I tell people, oh, I listen to metal, people are always saying, oh, you mean like Metallica? Which is, I always think that's so strange because metal is famously um, very specific. Like there's so many subgenres. Um, and if you didn't know that, surprise, guess what? There's so many different kinds of metal bands. Um, and I think maybe, maybe this isn't super known. Um, maybe because like pop music, there's kind of like just these huge names that everybody knows, like Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, you know, and it's like, that's what it is. And you either have like super poppy stuff like that, or like rap, like Post Malone, I don't know. Um, but in metal, there's so many different types of bands. Like you have like Viking metal and European metal and, you know, black metal, death metal, uh, metal core, which is like where I kind of live. Um, and that's just like not even close to being all of them. So if you're not like a super label or genre person, you're just like, hey, I'm, you know, I just like metal. Like that's super cool. Um, so I, what I consider when people say, oh, do you mean like Metallica? Um, it depends if on the person I'm talking to, if I'm like, uh, kind of, um, but Metallica to me is a very mainstream metal band. Um, and of course these are just my opinions. Um, so I, and while I think that Metallica has their place in, you know, forming the genre, um, early on, uh, especially, you know, in the, like the late eighties, um, they kind of took a turn towards mainstream and that's where like a lot of like their hardcore fans like kind of fell off. Um, but hey, those dudes are still touring. They're pulling in more money than Taylor Swift on their tours. Uh, they still put out new records if you checked out Hardwired a couple years ago. Um, so, you know, props to them for, you know, keeping it going this long. Um, and, but that's not really the type of music I listen to. So um, if we've ever talked about music personally or maybe online or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, um, I, like I just said, I'm more into metalcore. So if you're not super familiar with this, this is more of a, um, a technical type genre. Like the music is very difficult to play is like a, how I like to kind of um, explain that. Um, I am always very like, interested in how these people like come up with these intricate guitar patterns or even like double bass in drums. I'm like, how do they even play this? How do you remember it for like, you know, on, on stage every night? It's just like so impressive. Um, but it's also melodic. So you can, you know, it's not just like rah, screaming the whole time. Um, there's, there's little passages and little like pauses and you go, you got to pause for effect and like bring it down. And it's like, it's like a roller coaster. So like when I think of like death metal, it's like you can't understand the, the lyrics and it's just like rah, screaming. Um, but metalcore is more like about the message of the song and like the technicality of the instrument, if the instruments. So um, there's not usually a lot of like clean singing, which I'm not really a big fan of clean singing personally. Um, so when I think of my five favorite bands at the moment, um, Metallica isn't in there, but I, you know, I respect everything that they've done. But if we want to talk about music that I actually listen to, it's metalcore and these are the five bands. So um, I got to start things off with counterparts. They're probably like my favorite bands other than I like Under Oath aside. Okay. Um, counterparts is probably like my favorite band. So they are a um, originally a Canadian band, um, but they've been in the scene since like 2009, I want to say. Um, they have a bunch of full lengths out. They have some EPs, but they just put out a brand new record called Nothing Left to Love last Friday. 
That was November 1st. So super stoked on that. And this band cranks out the hits. I mean, not anything you're going to ever hear on the radio, but like every song just hits so hard. And Brendan Murphy, their singer, is like one of the best lyricists you'll ever come across like honestly like I, I know a lot of people that don't listen to metal might be like I don't know what they're saying but like if you go on Google and you actually read the lyrics to some counterpart song pretty much any counterpart song that you will read the lyrics to you'll be like this is like poetry it's like seriously like reading out of a poetry book and just the messages that he brings through it's just like like a bunch of his songs have to do with his grandfather that has Alzheimer's disease and so no uh metal bands don't scream about the devil all the time it's like about you know anti-bullying and being your own person and being independent and like confronting people that are you know that do bad by you and it's it's like these great messages that people just you know throw away because they're like oh it sounds like the devil's music like Come on, people, do some research. I'm not saying everyone in the world has to listen to metal because it's the best, but I'm saying you have to like know what you're talking about if you're going to debate someone about it. So definitely check out Counterparts. Another one of my favorite bands is Gideon. They're from down south. Um, so they have a little bit of a different vibe. They're more of a hardcore band, um, but I have seen people kind of like lump them into metal just because of their, uh, their screaming style. Um, and they're also very heavy. So um, they also just put out a brand new record. I love this band so much. Um, so that is called Out of Control. It came out on October 11th. And this band is on tour with the Devil Wears Prada uh, for a couple more weeks in November. So I can't wait to check them out next week in Philly. Um, and then August Burns Red is another amazing band you should check out. Um, if you're trying to get into the genre a little more, um, August Burns Red is like, I want to say like the grandfathers of metalcore. So um, they've been around since like 2005, 2007-ish. Um, and they are just, them and Counterparts are definitely one of my favorite bands. Um, August Burns Red tours so much, so it's easy to catch them, especially if you're in the Philly, Jersey area, because they're from Lancaster. So um, they have not put out a record since 2007. Um, Phantom Anthem came out. So I would expect, like they're kind of, since they had to do the Constellations 10-year tour this year, which I saw twice and I'm going to see again in December, um, they've been touring so much. So th I guess they haven't had time to kind of like, you know, be in the studio for an extended period of time. Um, but they are in there now in between this Constellation cycle. So I'm expecting a new record like early next year. Um, but another great band that I'm sure you guys have heard of is Killswitch Engage. Uh, they've been around forever. Um, of course, they went through the the different singers, and you know, there's you know, which camp are you in? But um, Killswitch Engage just put out a brand new record called Atonement, and um, they just announced a, uh, this huge nationwide tour in support of Atonement with August Burns Red, which is going to be in like the spring, like March ish, and. Um, so I already got my ticket for that because I'm a spaz, um, but I'm so excited. So um, yeah, so you're going to get to see two like amazing metalcore bands on tour together. That's like my favorite thing. Um, another great band you can check out is Parkway Drive. They're from Australia. Um, they were very under the radar early on in like the 2010s. Like I feel like not everybody knew who they were. And I was like, why this band's so amazing? But they didn't tour in the States very much because it's very expensive, obviously, for... Um, bands to tour here that don't live here so uh but since you know the last couple record touring cycles they've been in the states a lot so um they're one of my favorite bands to see live because they're so energetic and fun but their last record reverence came out last year and it was it's probably one of my favorite metalcore records of all time it's just one of those records where you don't skip any songs which is my favorite way to listen to a record i, I hate like having to you know pause it in my car or, like just find the songs that i like but this one every song is so good so parkway drive is definitely another band to check out last one i want to mention is as i lay dying so this band has a lot of controversy um, I feel like it's maybe dying down a little bit. Um, they did just put out a new record in September called Shaped by Fire. And I think the reception was pretty positive. Um, they did release three or four singles ahead of the actual record release. And they were all amazing. Like if you guys need to check out one song on that record, 
um, listen to My Own Grave because it's almost like Tim Lambesis's like apology for everything that happened. If you don't know what happened, I'm sure you guys can look it up. But the long and short of it is that Tim Lambesis, the singer for As I Dying, went to prison after putting out a hit on his wife. I don't, who, who knows, you guys? Uh, we weren't there. We don't know all the details. So uh, he got caught and went to prison. So the band had to go on hold. They weren't sure if they were coming back. But um, once he did get out of prison, uh, the band kind of like got back together and they put this record together and it is so good. So Azalea Dying is also on tour in November, um, I think into December as well. So if you want to catch them and see like what they're looking like now, if maybe you saw them like back in the day, because um, they're another like kind of veteran metalcore band, um, things have kind of changed a little bit. But uh, but man, are they tight. They sound so good. And I've really been enjoying this record. So, I mean, if you want to put all of that controversy aside and just listen to the music, I like to tell people I'm not best friends with Tim Lambesis. He's not my husband. Um, I know I don't know if that's like a smart thing to try to logically like say about the band, but I'm just kind of here for the music and they're a really good band. And um, the messages in the songs are really, really good. Um, so yeah, so I think that that's kind of like a bunch of bands that I really, really like that you know, if you're if you're trying to check out like a different part of like the metal umbrella, metalcore bands are my fave. So uh, going through it again is Counterparts, Gideon, August Burns Red, Kill Switch Engage, Parkway Drive, and Azalea Dying. So um, thanks uh, so much for listening. Uh, this is so much fun. I've been having the best time and you guys have been like leaving the best comments and sending me little messages on Instagram. Um, about these videos and it's given me like ideas for other stuff I want to talk about. So thank you so much for that. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe because I have so many ideas, so many videos that are coming uh, very soon. And uh, follow me on Instagram too, at Hair Metal X. So the next time somebody asks you about metal or you ask somebody about metal, just know that Metallica isn't the only metal band on planet Earth. All right, guys, thanks so much. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next one.